Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're in Sims 2 in Seaport, and we're at a new household today. I did say that I wouldn't start recording again until I get my new glasses, but I still haven't gotten my new glasses, but I really wanted to play this household with you guys before the uh, rotation ended. So, yeah, here we are. So, this is a new house with a new um, sim. Yeah, um, he moved to Seaport uh, last round. Let's get to meet him. He is asleep right now, but I'll probably wake him up in a bit. Here he is. Thanks. His name is James Barnett, and he is avant-garde, brave, easily impressed, eccentric, and over-emotional. He's a popularity romance sim. Um, he's an artist. <laughs> um, you can tell. He has some paintings that he's done on the wall. Um, and he also owns an art gallery in town, which will we be, which we will be visiting today. Blah. Um, this is his house. It's pretty cozy. Very colorful. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so let's just get right into the game. He's asleep still. I'm gonna let him sleep for a bit. I'm probably gonna wake him up from five to um, continue digging for some other um, sculptures and stuff to sell at his art gallery. And around seven, we can head over to the, um, the gallery. Yep. All right, let's let him sleep. So yeah, I, I still don't have my glasses, my new glasses. And the glasses that I'm currently using, they're broken and they have a very, very old um, prescription. I just wanted to be able to play my games like with <laughs> in a better vision and not, you know, do double takes and take a long time to choose things because it looks different in my eyes than like your eyes, if that makes sense. <laughs> I haven't recorded in a very long time either, but I just wanted to... Um, be able to play all my households and have each household ha have at least one video um, for this round. He's the second to last household for the entire round. We have one more household to play and then we'll be on round four. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and wake him up now. Alright, um... So we're on his last day of the round. We can wear his outerwear and then go dig for treasure. Okay, I'm so excited for the next round. I can't believe we're going to be in round four. Well, on round four, excuse me. Um, there's going to be like a whole school system and everything in town. I have to look into like the school mods. I've had them in my game for years, but I never ever used them. Never had like a playable school, but I'm excited to um, be able to have that because I think some of the kids um, they were born last round, they're gonna age up to, um, children next round. Hey, what did you find? Oh, okay. What's wrong? Oh. I think it's just this dude. Is that him squeaking? What? Okay. Yeah, like, his house is pretty clean. It's just... It's just this hole is here. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I don't see anything else that's like dirty around your house. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let me see. 
Okay, go lounge for a bit, cause... Oh, he's gonna use the toilet, he's probably gonna shower too. But yeah, so I'm very excited about that, and we're also going to... Ooh, whoa. We're also going to have a lot of new playables too, most likely, next round. Because we had some new businesses open this round. Um, and I do think I, um, <laughs> no, actually, I don't think so. I was going to say, and we could probably use some of the leftover, quote unquote, like spaces, because there's like, I opened a lot of businesses in round two, but I think I used them when I created those townies, but I will create some new playables and then I'll also create some new townies and What's going to be exciting about these new townies, I'm actually basing them off of my favorite um, people um, and fictional characters. So if you see a char like a, a sim that looks similar to somebody or a character you know, <laughs> go, don't be afraid to point them out in the comments and I'll let you know if you're correct. But I think some of you guys would know who's like, who's who. That's another thing. So I'm going to let him like relax for a bit because he's freaking out you know this outfit's cool I like this outfit but his waist is so snatched hold on his waist is so snatched he's so handsome though most of my male sims are handsome <laughs> so let's not let him chill for a bit let me see. He's also been digging up rocks, and when he digs up rocks, I go ahead and put them out here to kind of form a flower bed fence thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think he should be good for now. I'm gonna try to get him to dig for more stuff. Come on. And there's the newspaper boy. Oh, bless you. If we ever have a um, orphanage or a teen center um, in Seaport, I'm probably gonna make turn him into a playable and everything. Like, where are your parents? <laughs> okay, there he go. We'll head over to his um gallery around ten. Let him do some digging. He found another rock. Oh my gosh! It's literally because of the other. Yeah, he's squeaking. Okay, this is literally because the other, um... <laughs> oh my gosh. A hole. In the ground. Oh no. Go ahead, fill these in. Come on. Well. There. There. Alright. Hold on. Just make him dig continuously. Hey, yeah. I know he has the day off. Okay. More rocks, bones, rocks. Oh, it's like a dragon. It says dragon. Okay, one more thing. One more, just one more thing. I said we we're gonna go, um, go at like, um. All right, just go ahead. Fill it in. 
and we'll just head over to his um, art gallery and I'll see you guys there. All right, so welcome to Gallery de Barnett, which is um, James's um, art gallery, where he sells his not only his own art, but other um, art <laughs> that's in the game. I like to think this from other artists and things like that. And later on in the um, in time, um, other Sims can um, sell his art to him, and then he can sell the art here in the art gallery. So this is the inside. It's pretty small and cramped, but I like to start most of my businesses somewhat small. So we have some art on the wall. Here we go. And we also sell sculptures too. Um, and then there's the register and then behind here is his own personal art studio. <laughs> I really like this part, too bad I don't really use it as much. And I do plan on having him make his own, like, pottery as well. <laughs> I just kind of forget to do that. I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering where it's located, um, it's, <laughs> it's down the road from the town's park and right beside it is Marcella's farmers market and right across the street is Catherine Enloe's electronics store I don't know why the bushes are white it's springtime <laughs> so I'm confused anyways we're gonna probably remove some of the art or put yeah, remove some of these signs to put some of his paintings um, up. Let's go ahead. And where are they? Okay. Okay. Uh, which one do we want to sell or to get rid of? Maybe this one right here. Thank you. And then for the sculptures. Oh dear. I don't know what to do about that because these are going to be small. Yeah, they're very small. They're probably gonna have to get like a little table or something for them. Or a shelf, I don't know. Okay. I don't know how many can go up here. Okay. I put the dragon in the pot. Yep. Okay. Perfect. No, I don't want the phone up there. <laughs> okay. I think that's all we're gonna do for now. All right. So now let's go ahead and open the business and let's see who comes in to buy some uh, artwork. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put his own artwork for sale. $25, okay, $15, okay. <laughs> Here's Paul Hagger. Oh, and I forgot. There's like a little small pretty garden over here. 
Come on, here's Eves. We were looking for Eves last episode so he can get his um, get a makeover. Oh, where did uh? Let's try to do some basic sales. Oh, he's trying to get him to buy the social bunny painting that he made. Um, actually, this is a default replacement of the original canvas like paintings that come with the game. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description below if anyone is curious. So it, it takes away the paintings that your sims normally would paint and replace them with paintings um, that come from The Sims 3. Okay. Let's do basic sale to everybody. And she still has that terrible makeup on her face. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see. Okay, there's Raz. And then there's Kid. Okay. Go help Raz, cause he's, he doesn't know where to go. Well, most of these are like expensive. I just told you to help him. I can't take this picture seriously because Alana's messed up makeup. I wish that like it would um, go away on its own. But I guess like the next time I play her I have to take it off for myself. Yeah. Yeah, this is a new business like I said because he literally moved into town last round. Um, so it's still at rank zero. Hopefully we can go up a rank. Oh! Oh my gosh, no, 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 ring up these customers, bro. <laughs> Thank you. He's really cute. I'm guessing Paul bought the social bunny um, painting. Bless you. I think he sneezed. Hold on. Because sometimes the door will be stuck if there's something right above it. Yep, there we go. Hold on. Let me just move it this to there. <laughs> Here's the mayor. Yeah, this is the mayor, Elijah Fowler. 
You guys probably remember him from the second episode. We will be seeing him again. Because I do, um... Oh yeah, we're, rank, we're on rank one. But I do plan on having at least one episode of each household. Each rotation. If that makes sense, so... Okay. Gotta go ring up these customers again. I'm having him, um, do everything by himself at the art gallery for now. Maybe over time we will have it, like employees, but I think he, he can um, handle everything by himself for now. And there's no, there's really no other sims to hire because either they already work at a business or they own a business or they're in a career that um, I gave them like a Maxis, EA Maxis career. And it's part of like the storyline. Yay, okay. I want him to get that. Thank you. Oh, that guy has a blue bag. He's buying a lot of things. Oh my goodness. Dude, please buy this, um, oh, he's dancing. Please buy this statue, this egg statue, please. Okay, so the round is technically over for him. Cause I'm always in the round at like 5 p.m. in sim time. Oh, look, he's starting to paint. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close the business and I'm going to show you how I do taxes in my game. First we got to ring up these customers. Come on girly. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to have him go ahead and ring up these customers and I'll meet you guys back at his um, house and I'll show you how I do taxes in my game. Okay, so he's home now. Yes, it's raining. Get inside so you don't get sick. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I like do taxes in my Build a City challenge neighborhoods. So what I do first... I go to, you know, either build or buy mode, and I click lot information, which is up here, and I look at how much the, the lot value is. So it's 17, we're going to do 17,700 simoleons, and then I multiply it by 10. Well, not like 10, I multiply it <laughs> by um, 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. So I'm going to do that right now on my calculator. So he has to pay 1,770 simoleons, or I'm just going to round it up. So how I do that, I use the wallet token controller, which you can find right here. Created by Christian Love, which you can find on Mob the Sims. I think I'm going to leave it in the description of this video as well. So if anybody that wants to try this mod out, you you can find it there on Mob the Sims. Um, it's very handy and, it, and it's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna send 1,000 simoleons. Well, he's gonna pee first, so I'm gonna go ahead and like get the money all together um now yeah, we're just gonna do um 1800 simoleons because it doesn't allow us to like do like one simoleon or like 10 simoleons etc etc so it loads up everybody that's in the neighborhood 
even the toddlers. <laughs> um, you can see right here we got Todd, we got, well, no, Todd, Sean, Samantha, Trisha, Chantel, we have Chantel, and Lanny. We have the NPCs as well, too. But we're, we're looking for Elijah. There he is. So we send the thousand civilians to him. And then we send the 500 to him as well. And then we send the 300 to him as well. Um, and so when I play the household, the mayor's household the next round, he's able to withdraw the money or the taxes, or all the money that he collects at the end of round two. I mean, not round two, round three. Oopsies. And yeah. So that's how I do taxes in my Sims game. <laughs> but I'm going to end it here. It's been a while since I recorded a video, so if I'm really awkward, I'm sorry. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2024, and there's plenty more to, you know, come, so be on the lookout for that. And I do plan on um, playing Stardew Valley sometime soon. I'm, I'm trying to wait for my glasses to come so I don't have to deal with my broken glasses falling off my face and everything. But I think at this point, I just might play it at this point. Just forget about the glasses. Just let me play it. Um, never played Stardew Valley before, so it's going to be interesting. Um, next episode, we're going to be at the last um, household for this rotation. And then we will start round four. I'm very excited, and I can't wait to see what the future has for my sins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever and I'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>